Hi guys, are you here from Blend the Bros and in this video we're gonna be modeling a sci-fi raider. We're gonna be using hard ups and box cutter and machine tools. Let's get started. If you would like to learn more about machine tools and hard ups, I got videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you really want to learn hard ups, I would highly recommend our course Ultimate Guide to Hard Ups and Box Cutter. And uh, if you're new to Blender and you wanted to, you know, learn how to use Blender, uh, we have two really cool free courses. One of them is for people who, you know, are familiar with add-ons like Hard Ups and Box Cutter. And the other one is for those of you who are completely new to Blender. So I would suggest you watch that uh, instead. So there are links in the video description to both of them. One of them is a really cool sci-fi terminal and the other one is like a mechanical arm. Uh, so this should give you a really strong foundation in Blender. So let's grab an end gun here and we're gonna cut it like this. Press B for bevel and uh, maybe six segments is okay. If you don't see that notification here, I'll give you a tip. Go here to hard ups, click on the star, enable box cut notifications. You're gonna be able to see that. Here at the top, we can just cut it like this. That's cool. Actually, maybe that's too, too aggressive. Maybe you could do something like this. That's pretty cool. Actually, hang on. Maybe something like this. I'm gonna grab a um, box here and we're going to cut a hole here with a box like this. And, uh, you know, click that. Let's recall it. And I think maybe I will sort of align it here a bit better and then slice it from the top like that. D and go on turn off cyclic and then we're going to cut uh, some shapes here. Press T to make this uh, wider and don't make it too wide, you know, not supposed to be too wide. Something maybe here or maybe like this and then we can have one more here. So let's recover the cutter and one more somewhere here at the top. Just a small one here like that maybe. Cool. Now from the top, what we're going to do, so I'm going to slice it here, press D and change angle to maybe 5, and it's going to be a little bit less, um, it's going to be more defined. So let's turn the cyclic back on, and now you see with 5 degrees, we have a little bit less of a kind of an angle um, skip. So let's just uh, cut it here. You could hold control to make it a bit more, you know, controlled. And... Uh, copy to the other side it's a bit thick but i think it's gonna be okay d and let's cut it here in the middle like this and cut it through really deep all through the entire length that's okay too we could go here and let's just apply the bevel so we can see what we're doing and alt click on sharpen to introduce a weighted normal so let's grab this uh, here this cutter so recall this cutter here and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, sort of run an array here like this going down. So VX and uh, run an array here, um, maybe to a certain point, not to a complete bottom like this. I'm going to cut this cutter inside here. You see, it's going to look pretty cool. Awesome. So now the top here, we need some, you know, something, something. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably place some cube here. And bring it up here and um, let's just scale it and drop it down and you know remember this needs to be quite a robust mechanism here so maybe something like this and I'm gonna slice it a bit but before we do alt ctrl a and apply scale let's grab this and see what we can do here um, we could just chamfer it like this and we could bevel it here on the top and we could bevel these two like this it's gonna be an interesting shape let's go here cut it from the top press x three times to enter the um, inset cut and we're going to mirror it to the other side let's grab here cursor so select the face and shift S with machine tools and crucial to face and then what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a cylinder and uh, our Y90 and scale it down 
to something like that. So let's get it a bit more. Bring it here to the top so it's kind of offset. You know, it's not in the middle. It's going to look a bit better. And it's a bit too tall, so drop it down. We could use a bevel here so we can see what we're doing from the side. Because you don't you don't want to be too close to these edges here. They'll, they'll do. And, you know, we could just mirror to the other side like that. Uh, let's just uh, smooth it with sharpen. And we're probably going to go out. Control A and apply scale. This one is a little bit too, maybe too far, so we could, you know, we could go a little bit closer here. So GX and, uh, you know, create a kind of a rounded um, shape here. Control R here and one more in the middle. Control B to split that. And we're going to run Alt here macro to insert this here like that. Here on this side, we could just uh, create a indentation here like that, and uh, we're good to go. Awesome. So we got that going on, and um, yeah. So now what we can do is here we could actually apply this so uh, operation smart apply, and run a chamfer here. Bit of a chamfer. These could be, you know, beveled. Uh, they're gonna look pretty cool. Awesome. Let's just mirror this. Cool. Let me save this because I, you know, I, I would not like to crush now. Okay, this front here. So now, this these cuts here in the middle, we could round them up a bit. So have a scroll and let's grab uh, not this cutter, the other one. So one more time, have a scroll, scroll your mouse to get to this cutter. Let's just go to lock up. Let's apply these cuts here. So operation smart apply and uh, press 3 to clean all junk with machine tools and then we're going to control alt click select this and shift control alt click uh, select these and these come on these and these right cool go back and we're going to control b that uh, to round this up it's just gonna look a little bit you know better and smoother here too on the top what we could do is um have a scroll this middle cut and make it a bit more narrow okay like this and we have an opportunity here to to run some additional shapes i mean shapes here connections here so what we're going to do is click that and we're going to recover this cutter and here in the middle we're going to create some kind of a connecting element so here uh, in this area, somewhere here, we're gonna create like a you know beveled connecting element. And we're going to um, array this down and maybe create, I would say, three of them or four. Three gonna be better, and just cut this through. And this is gonna create this kind of a situation here in front. It just looks a bit more interesting and also kind of corresponds with the bottom. So this is pretty neat, I would imagine. Here in the middle, um, we could use something as well, but you know, let's apply this. So smart apply here on um, these two cuts. And what we're gonna do is mark them sharp, shift S to edge. We're gonna drop a cube here and uh, scale it down a bit and bring it up here. Scale it on Y axis and kind of you know drop it somewhere here in this area okay and make it a bit wider like this and bring it higher a bit here somewhere here and we're going to uh, apply scale select these edges and round it up and uh, i think this would do and uh, we're going to deal with it later we're going to add some bolts here or oh, in fact you know we could do it now i'm going to do it with um, uh, kit up so uh, the link is in the video description and uh, you could use the uh, free insert pack by master zeon just simply look for hard up in hard ups inserts for kit ups on gumroad and you'll get it hard ups inserts there you go these are the ones and i'm gonna grab some bolts so these ones probably gonna be the best because they kind of look like uh, like bolts and scale them down i'm gonna remove all the mats here because that's way too many mats and select everything and 
in edit mode alt h to unhide anything that's hidden I drop it in here uh, like this and uh, we're gonna create some kind of a pattern here so array down and uh, you know maybe four of them and shift d and mirror them here shift d x and uh, g z and drop them here and drop one array so we're gonna have this kind of a pattern here which is pretty cool and now we need a dish right so uh, we will grab a, uh, let's grab a circle or actually yeah circle is fine let's uh, make it really soft so 80 vats right let's make it bigger and uh, you know it cannot be too big uh, has to kind of correspond with the uh, with the radar size let's move it somewhere here and we're gonna fill it with face and then we're going to insert it like this right and shift R this so we're gonna create multiple you know you're gonna simply repeat the operation press O for proportional editing here G and uh, from the side now scroll the mouse and press Y to scale it on the Y axis kind of like this right okay and we're gonna get this kind of cool dish we we'll grab this edge in the top and GY and move it the other way kind of scale it down there we go move it a bit to the front so GY and just move it a bit to the front there we go and we can you know solidify this so go to modifier and solidify just a little bit don't make it too thick it's fine and you know bevel it right and then alt click on sharpen and we get ourselves a cool dish okay awesome so now what we need to do is we need to you know um move cursor to origin and uh, let's just reset the rotation of this end location so click here and alt r alt g and what we need to do now actually shift s and move this to geometry and then um alt g there we go go to local view and we're gonna add some you know structure to it so uh, we could do this with an angle actually so we could just simply draw it so deselect everything go to uh, and go and draw and grab this um, cyclic off and we could draw an angle here just make it thinner okay like this right so draw it from somewhere here right and draw it here and then here and here like this right and then e and extrude it a little bit right okay cool now what we do is select these edges here and control b them so over here control b them so they're gonna be smoother yeah like this uh the solidification could be a little bit you know less insane you could also press 2 for solidification to, towards both sides and then what we're gonna do is we're going to um shift s and move it to cursor r y 90 and then rotate it is it the correct orientation wait a minute not this way r y 180 that's what i want to do right there we go move it here so it's in the middle of this you know of the cursor in the window of the world move it back up here that's perfect and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to mesh tools and control click on the radial array and press x and make sure that you're gonna have three of them now what we're gonna do is we're going to add another cylinder and move it up here and you know squash it a bit make it really tiny like this and uh, that's gonna be our connector here so let's just uh apply scale and maybe chamfer this a little bit and uh you know let's just make sure that we got some opening here and we're going to shift curve extract this out uh, 
but we're gonna make it thinner so s shift c and scale it down yeah like this and uh you know visual to mesh and we're going to split this here in the bottom and scale this like this okay and apply a bevel to it there we go it looks pretty cool and you know on top of this we can play with it later but uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add an empty so add an empty here like that and we're going to select all these right and we're going to select with shift empty control p and object keep transformed so now when i'm going to use the empty i can do whatever the hell i want with it this circle as well here in the middle of this one so make sure it's parented as well so now what we can do go back here to the main view and you know move it up here rotate it a bit like this and move it somewhere here we need this mounting still to be created now here what we're going to do is we're going to control b that and make it smoother and to be able to clean the junk here you simply go to operations and clean mesh with hard ops uh here it's going to clean it up a little bit and uh, here in the bottom the same i really want these to be chamfered i mean sorry beveled so you know clean mesh also the bevel here needs some fixing so let's go to bevel plus one to make it smooth uh, don't make it too crazy because this is a metal structure which means the bevel needs to be you know sort of uh, smallish uh, on the smaller side we got some pulls here because uh, these edges are insane so we could actually fix that by running a proper edge here and remove this rubbish to improve it and alt x with machi mesh machine to symmetrize to the other side if you don't have mesh machine simply alt x d symmetry and copy with hard ops um, so there we go so that's pretty cool um power save this could be a little bit larger there we go that's a good size now what we need now is a mounting mechanism right so here we could drop uh, borrow this shift d z z and move it in here we could scale it down and r x and uh, 180 g z z to move it in here and we could create some kind of a mounting mechanism here so uh, control plus control plus f and then e and extrude it and uh, we could actually create another one here so um let's move a cursor here to face shift a and uh, add another cylinder and we're going to move it to cursor like this so it's going to align with the cursor so here what we're going to do we're going to set the rotation <coughs> with hard ups yes so q mesh tool set origin and we're going to use this orientation here plus r and release it rz okay on 90, 90 degrees here so it's actually you know properly oriented and for some reason it isn't uh, one more time there we go uh, that's it and g and move it somewhere here and let's just uh, smooth it out create some kind of a uh, chamfer here on this side and grab this edge here ctrl b and split it whoa ctrl b and split it and i'm gonna grab these two loops here by the way the shortcut i have a shortcut but you can do it here select loops select boundary loops which is gonna select these two loops on sides q and alt and macro and drop it down i'm gonna bevel this of course because reasons and it's probably a bit too high too crazy this one also is a bevel this could be a bit larger it's cool and that's okay we could have some decals here without to worry too much about you know uh, about stuff now here um i would probably create some openings like this right so you know q and alt and macro and move it inside on both sides and then create some kind of a chamfer here maybe to the other side and both jungle now what we need to do is we need to create a connection here so uh, what we could do is we could create an arm here with a plane so grab this and shift us to face 
and then let's grab a plane and move it in here go to edit mode shift one with machine tools and this will allow us to create a vert and then we can just you know start having fun with the vert so uh, here and then let's go to side view and maybe e extruded here e and e and this is a bit too high something like this maybe there you go or this could actually go from the other side from the bottom here maybe it's going to be cooler and the line is here and uh, this should actually go a little bit outside so maybe somewhere here and this one should be somewhere here and then e uh, e x no um, I'm just gonna do it manually something like this they could be here maybe we can rotate them a bit something like that maybe that's actually too far away um, move it in a little bit here there we go and uh, you know um, select these two shift control B and these shift control B and we're good to go and we could create um, a curve out of this with curve extract like this right so we got that and just simply mirror to the other side and blender will crash so let's try again that's why I'm running power save guys because power save for usual will save my butt uh, well there you go almost there so on the time uh, grab this and this and oh wait this is not fully adjusted yet so let's adjust it here this one is a bit too far so we could rotate it like this and move it somewhere here this one could be a little bit further away and then moved in here so shift control b one more time and here shift control b and we should be good to go right let's just save it and uh, mesh tools and curve extract and s and you're done select that and mirror to the other side right awesome now this one could be a bit smaller this one could be smaller too um, and uh, a bit longer so do that and this one could have uh, you know let me just expand it on X a little bit of these faces GG and move them somewhere here copy to the other side and also probably want to scale it in something like this Control plus and you know scale it in Control plus and scale it in so it's ni nice and snugly yeah? and then you know mirror cool now here you could you, we could have some additional mechanisms here in the back as well you could have some kind of a support here you know like here from the bottom so what we could do is um, uh, grab this and shift S and to select it is it in the middle it's in the middle cool we could grab a plane and drop it in here and rotate it like this and uh, or like this it's a bit too wide so let's scale it here and uh, you know go and grab it in here somewhere and this one is a bit too long so gg and move it up here cool and then let's add some solidification to it because otherwise i can't see what i'm doing as you see here there we go grab it back in here then press e and extrude it in here so let's just keep extruding this here and then one more extrusion here and extrude it like this right and then all we need to do is you know select these with shift and control and bevel them like that and it's gonna be a support here now we definitely need to do something with it because you know as this is a bit boring so let's grab a cutter here and uh, 
let's create some cut shift click that and uh, let's select uh, an angle and create some kind of cool pattern here so maybe maybe like this and then maybe like this and then maybe like this and like this and like this and straight or even angled boom there's a bit of a problem here gy just move the cutter a bit and also extend it up we could also rotate it a bit so it cuts it a bit more in a straight manner if you know what i mean the angle is not as crazy and also this could be a bit narrower so a bit narrower so it's a bit less vulgar if you know what i mean although this might be a bit too feeble we could increase the solidification a bit make it a bit thicker and kind of you know and make sure that it doesn't stick in here so just grab an angle and simply slice it here like this so it doesn't stick out here which is important and the same thing could be on the top so you know what we could do is shift d now when you shift d something remember that you're gonna lose the cutters so what you want to do is go to settings and uh my bad operations and uniqueify which will assign a unique did it assign it one more time um operations uniqueify this is assign this will assign cutters to it you need cutters yeah so now what we can do is move the cursor here and we could rotate it around the cursor so uh cursor and then rotate it around the well shift d and rotate it around around the cursor so rz there you go not this one the other one rz there we go and we got one from the top and one from the bottom so the only thing we need to do now is collapse it down here until it touches and uh, you know everything is peachy as they say right cool here we could use some trim sheets we could also use some mechanism here as well so we could grab that and uh, you know create some kind of a let's just unsharpen this gg move it in here and uh, you know um, create a, another cut here with your macro like this it's gonna do some kind of a separation here could have another separation here you know uh, in this area it's cool as well although this might be a bit too much this will do right Cool, now this area here could be a little bit larger, so what we could do is uh, create a loop here. So, create a loop here, inside, and one loop here outside. And grab this this bit here, and then, you know, RTM macro that outside, so the, uh, the supporting area of this dish is a bit larger. It's going to look pretty cool. And here, you know, we could have some... Um, some other design here in this side and extrude it up I cannot see what I'm doing uh, extrude it, scale it it scales it on the cursor so change to individual regions there we go scale it in inside it and extrude it and you know it's kind of a connection there between these two awesome now here on the top what we need is some kind of um sort of like uh you know elements gonna connect these two so select them and shift as two uh, sorry two vert and then at the cube okay and then we need to you know sort of orient it properly scale it and and all that so Make it larger make it clip here like this rotate it a bit move it somewhere here apply the scale and then it's a little bit too thick scale it in and uh, you know create a chamfer here like this and this could be rounded 
Okay, let's just apply skill one more time. That's better. They could also run these just uh, to make them softer and sharpen this. And these two could be inserted inside. So, yeah, macro, right? Just like that. And then move cursor to the middle. So, Shift A is to select it, and then mesh tools and control click an array and make sure you got only three of them. And that's your dish. I didn't really get properly um, arrayed, so we're gonna move this to the dish. So Shift S to select it, and then one more time. Uh, where is it? Radial array. That's better, I think. No, it's still not perfect. Interesting. Now we're gonna do it manually then. So here's how you can do this manually. Grab that, right? Select this rim here on the top. One of the rims here. Yeah? Shift S. Two edge, right? And then grab that. RZ and rotate it in here. And it's also kind of sinking in here, you see? Interesting. So we're just gonna adjust it manually. So I'll just position it in here manually. It's okay. And simply mirror it to the other side because it's on the other side, right? There you go, no jungle. So that's that. And we need some cables too, you know. So what we're gonna do is we can run the cable writer, shift alt C, create a cable from here um, to here. And that's gonna clip here ugly which is something I don't want. So let's run this from here to here. That's better. That's one cable. And the other one's gonna be on the other side. So I think that's cool. Uh, let's move it a bit here on this side. So grab this one and GX. Move it in here. Right, and we could uh, Added this cable and add a kind of like a ending to it, so like a cap. So let's just go here to our assets and let's load uh, one of this, these um, inserts. Maybe something like this will do. Add an insert, right? And uh, this insert could be let's remove the materials here I go to edit mode select all alt H and then let's select this one and the cable shift out C and add segments okay and then what we're gonna do is make it smaller because it's way too big so let's make it smaller Scale it on individual origins. See if it's gonna work now. There we go. So, you know, a bit smaller. And we're going to move this cable slightly to the bottom here. So that will do. And uh, let's actually copy that to the other side. So, mirror to the other side. Select this insert. Go here to names and viewport display turn off name there we go and uh, here actually we could do something different um, so let's just shift s and to select it and uh, let's just grab another insert um, or maybe actually the same one that will do kind of bigger and let's remove this those masks here because there's just too many of them again the same thing remove the name and also um, go to edit alt h and copy to the other side cool so that's that now here in the back where well, we could have some kind of like a maintenance you know ladder or something so um, we could just uh, grab an edge here like this and rip it off with control click on curve extract Move it, move it here on on y axis and scale it on x. Um, okay, 
on the x-axis a little bit and shift s and 2 geo there we go create these two handles here so connect these and e y right remove this edge grab these two words sx scale them a little bit and shift control b doesn't have to be super you know detailed and then go to mesh tools and curve extract and s and this should be you know relatively small because it's gonna be for humans to climb that thing right and then you know array it down so um visual to mesh and array x and something like this here right in the back and that's pretty cool i think we you know we got it going and here of course you could have some more mechanisms in here and whatnot could have something here in the middle edit so shift s and uh, let's just grab a cursor here and then a cube scale it and poke it somewhere here make it narrower and we could have some kind of a you know box device whatnot here so apply scale make it smooth make it smooth here as well and uh, make sure it doesn't poke through the bottom so cut it in here like this right cut it from the front the same angle so it kind of matches sharpen and we could even bevel it in here on both sides and here we could have some kind of a chamfer going on on the on this side or a bevel a bevel will work as well and this could be some kind of a you know like a um box that you open and to run some maintenance or whatnot kind of like a cover here and run some bevels on it and x and just slice it through and you know, sharpen sharpen add some bevel here add some bevel here weighted normals and uh, run some cuts on top here and mirror and there you go that will do and here we could have some ball we can do this with you know with, with the um we could do this with decals later on but uh they that that's looking pretty cool here this dish could have some additional you know like a, a kind of like a structure around it so we could select this edge and you know um maybe control click on curve extract and then uh gzz and move it somewhere here away from this structure and then we could uh, delete certain parts of it so vertices um you know vertices and vertices right and then select these go to side view and ezz and move them down and then select these and i'm going to bevel them shift control b and uh, don't overdo it i think three is more than enough and then uh, mesh tools and curve extract to make it really thin as like a rim around this ray that's gonna look really awesome small details um kind of creating a sense of scale which is pretty cool here too we could have some additional details this is a rate which means you know if we cut one we're gonna cut all of them right see what i mean so we could lighten this form down so create you know kind of like a more of a lighter form by simply adding additional cuts and this one could be mirrored like this and uh, did it mirror <laughs> D didn't mirror on to the other so hang on let me just recall this cutter mirror across this one there we go now i got a bit of a lighter form to this uh, radar it looks a bit more 
interesting. Same this one could be, you know, this could be a different sort of a thickness to it, so it could be thinner over there in general. So we could just grab that S and just scale this here. Or shift S, uh, S and shift Z and scale it down here like this, right? In addition to this, you could have some other elements here in the middle. You could, for example, cut some maybe circular elements or even kind of like a sort of um, circular cuts here in this mesh. Let's see if we can do that. So select a large piece and then you know Q and Control rip this off. And uh, let's go to local. Let's remove the. You want to remove the bevel. Um, and then uh, let's grab these and insert them. There we go. Control I and delete faces. Then select these here and Shift Control B. And then we got that. And we could actually um, solidify it a bit more. So modifier solidification, press two to go both ways, and then you can cut it. So difference, and you're gonna get this kind of a situation, which is pretty cool. And then what we can do is array this. So Q and Control click on array, press X. That doesn't work. Okay. Well, let's just array this manually. Shift D R and Z, Z and then difference and then simply mirror to the other side there you go and that's a pretty cool radar if I may say so there's some Z fighting here from this element so what you can do is move your dish a little bit further away or grab this element here right? and I'll simply sink it down a bit so I'll test and just drop it down a bit so the Z fighting is going to be gone right cool all right guys well that's it for the modeling part thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one